Today I fucked up by accidentally sending my I got laid text to my date instead of my friend. This happened on Wednesday. And it's much, much worse because of the wording. I met this girl at the bar last Saturday and totally clicked. We talked for three hours, I walked her to her car, kissed her goodnight, it was great. My first foray since Covid started. Tuesday she came over to have a game night at my house, we had fun, made out a little, she went home. The next day my buddy texted me asking how it went. He's one of those ultra masculine brothers who's preoccupied with getting laid and I usually just make shit up to placate him. Otherwise he's a good dude. So I responded, I crushed her in games, then I crushed her pussy. Except what I didn't realize was the last text I sent was to my date. I only had known what he texted because it showed up as a preview on the top of my phone screen. I didn't actually open his text. My heart started racing as I read what I said to her. I panicked and said that I was just telling her what I sent my friend because he of how he is. Luckily I told her about him when she was over and she agreed to go along with it. She even agreed to embellish it even more. She's a keeper. Too long didn't read, today I fucked up by telling my date I crushed her pussy even though I didn't, but she was cool about it. So, task failed successfully. A fucking man. Oh what tangled webs we weave. Better to just tell the truth or find a friend you don't feel you have to lie to. Op impressively makes it his friend's fault that he lies about getting laid. Are you 14 why are you lying about getting laid to anyone? Exactly. Good thing she was so nonchalant about it. If I were her I wouldn't waste my time. Guarantee the guys who brag about getting laid the most are the thirstiest ones in the room. Lying on your dick is also bad luck. Today I fucked up by telling my wife her old nudes are gross. My, 34M, wife, 33F, and I met and started dating in high school, and when she was 17 she took some risque photos for me and printed them out and gave them to me. I was totally smitten with this at the time and looked at them a number of times over the next few years before hiding them away for safekeeping when I moved out of my college dorm. Then, near the beginning of quarantine last year, I was going through old boxes in our attic and found the old nudes. I honestly found even the idea of looking at them kind of gross and creepy as a now fully grown man. So, I shredded them, obviously I didn't want anyone else to see them either, and didn't mention it to my wife, not for any particular reason except that I found a lot of great old stuff that day, got excited to share those things with her, and just kind of forgot about it. That was that until last week, when we were watching a movie in which one of the characters took nude photos of herself, and my wife recalled the photos she'd given me and asked if I still had them. I told her the truth, that I'd found them recently but thought they were kind of gross so I got rid of them. She immediately seemed really hurt by this and I knew I'd messed up by using the word gross. I explained that it was just that she was underage at the time, and nothing against her at all, and that I find her very sexy and attractive now as an adult woman. This seemed to fall on deaf ears. It seemed like the conclusion she had drawn was that if I didn't find her attractive when she was so much hotter back then than she is now, that that must explain our slow sex life currently. I have had performance issues a few times lately, but it's not because I don't find her attractive, I have told her this repeatedly, and I really didn't think it was a big deal because it's only happened here and there and we still have sex every one to two weeks or so. Now she's upset, she's not being unkind to me but she's clearly hurt, and I feel bad about the idea that she might feel sexually unsatisfied. I say might because she walked back the original slow sex life comment after we talked a bit more. I feel awful, I wish I'd never found the photos at all and that way I could tell her that yes I still had them in storage. But obviously it's too late for that. Has anything like this ever happened to someone else who's been with their partner since you were very young slash underage? Any advice? We've made up and aren't actively mad at each other but we're both still hurt, and talking about it more doesn't seem to be getting us anywhere. Too long didn't read, I told my wife her nudes from when we were underage were gross, and it kind of opened a can of worms about attraction and our sex life. Hun, 
that's crazy to me. I have some nude vids my wife gave me when she was 18 19 in college. 13 years later, those are still my most coveted and cherished possessions on earth. I'm still shocked a girl that hot let me see her naked and then was willing to slum it by marrying me. I double locked the dump truck down now that we just had our first kid. That butt ain't going nowhere. This is strangely bo today I fucked up. Sex every one to two weeks. Why you got a flex bro? Dude gift her some boudoir photo session or something if she's down. Then you get new sexy photos to look at and she gets to feel hot again. Ha ha, no you never say nudes of her are gross, come on man that's a rookie mistake. But depending how strictly someone wants to enforce the laws and where you are, legally you were in possession of child pornography, which is less than ideal. Today I fucked up by insulting the girlfriend of a guy mistakenly to her face. To get together barbecue, this guy was there and he was telling people how he planned to surprise his girlfriend by stopping by unannounced with breakfast. When he arrived, he found out that she was in bed with another guy. Now this girl is trying to win him back and is very possessive but he tells us that it's over. I go off to the store after hearing this story and saying that that's terrible. When I come back more people have arrived and the normal thing to do would be to introduce yourself first to those you don't know and say hello to those that arrived. Instead I launch in giving my two cents about what I think about his girlfriend. I say, you know from what you were saying about that girl, there's a special place in hell for those sorts of sea backslash NTS. The room goes quiet and the girl next to me that arrived while I was gone said, yeah that's me you're talking about. Do you want to say that again? After a couple seconds of open mouthed silence, I just say to everyone, I'm just going to check on the hot dogs now, and walk away. Now, the other people at the party obviously agreed with me but the awkwardness was palpable. He eventually left after a short time sulking and pulled her boyfriend away before he could even start on his food. Apparently, I learned that she invited herself along to the party looking for him to be with him. TL, doctor, called this girl who cheated on this guy a sea backslash nt when she's standing near me. Edit, a lot of comments saying I should have doubled down. Whilst I would love to and maybe should, the awkwardness made walking away the best decision at the time. That and I would be afraid that others would be upset if I doubled down and she launched into an argument that would kill the party should have double downed on it lol. Yeah man, fuck it. Double down. You don't have to call her a CNT to her face but say you love your friend and she did him dirty and is now manipulating him and you're not down with that. She hurt someone you care about. You're in it for him not her. Also you've learned a lesson about not saying something you wouldn't say to someone's face. Well to be fair he is a friend of my partner and not much to me but I was feeling for his problems as a human being. And he's a cool guy so yeah. I should have doubled down. That'd probably cause a scene that would have made the party grind to a complete halt. What part did you not understand? Did I stutter? I'm just going to check on the hot dogs now, and make sure you didn't fuck all those too. Lots of people say you should have doubled down and I agree, but in such a moment your mind goes blanked and after it's done you are like, ah shit, should have said that instead. So yeah, while I agree, I also understand that it's hard to double down in such a moment. Even more respect to the people that do have good answers in such a situation.